Uh, moving to the final thing, bonus thing for this week. Uh, we're talking about PCE and that reporting, Gary. Thing number six to close us out, the PCE declines. Yeah, so the PCE stands for Personal Consumption Expenditures Index. It's basically an inflation gauge. Now, in the United States, when we talk about inflation, people typically are referring to the CPI. That's the Consumer Price Index. So when people say inflation is 3.5%, they usually mean the CPI. The reason the PCE matters is it more closely tracks actual expenditures. And as a result of that, it's the preferred inflation index of the Federal Reserve. So while most of the press will focus their attention on the CPI, the, the um, Federal Reserve is tracking the PCE more closely, the Personal Consumption Expenditures Index. Um, the May PCE came in at 2.6% versus last month and flat versus the month before. So, sorry, I said that wrong. 2.6% versus last year and flat versus the month before. So what they're aiming for is 2% and they went from 2.7 down to 2.6. That's the direction they were hoping for. No increase in prices from April to May. So they got that flat. The core PCE, that number excludes food and energy and tends to be a little more stable and a little harder to move. That was also down to 2.6, came down from last month's 2.8% and was up only a little bit from month to month. And so the doves, the doves are the people who prefer a lower federal funds rate. They looked at that and said, hey, inflation is getting under control. This is a, this is a positive here. Um, you know, the hawks who prefer higher interest rates are pointing out, okay, great. You know, we agree it's gotten better, but we're still well above the 2% target. And so, uh, you know, all things being equal, this makes it more likely that the Fed will reduce rates soon, sooner. Sorry, not soon, sooner. Um, it, the, it was a dovish report that said, you know, I still think Powell is going to be watching what happened in uh, in Canada, and I would not expect the Fed to lower rates at the next meeting. Um, if you're hoping for lower rates, this PCE report was a positive for you, but don't hold your breath for any kind of movement at the next meeting. Great stuff, Gary. Don't have a follow up to that. I think you covered all of that pretty well um, and pretty straightforward with the PCE. We'll obviously be keeping in tune on new reports and what that means. And Gary, what you believe will happen with the Fed, but higher for longer for now. And we'll continue with that mantra. Uh, that concludes this week's five things, or in this case, six things this week, one bonus. I uh, want to wish everybody 4th of July is coming up this Thursday. Uh, stay safe. Have a great time with family and friends while out there. And again, as always, thank you so much for supporting us at Deep Knowledge Investing. Uh, we really appreciate you tuning in, uh, engaging with Gary's content. Uh, being a subscriber uh, to the Deep Knowledge Investing platform. We're excited to bring more and more of this type of commentary, uh, recommendations, and really just keeping you all in tune uh, with this market and the craziness that we're going to see over the next five months. The debate we had last week, and they said, yeah, uh, now just a short five months until the election. I'm thinking, my goodness, we got five more months of, of this stuff, but it's going to be a, a wild ride. And Gary, thank you again for all you do. Any closing thoughts from you? Thanks, Rob. Uh, for everyone watching this again, I know I say this every week, but thanks so much for watching. We know your time is valuable. We appreciate you spending it with us uh, and learning with us. Great to have you here. Uh, you know, last thing I want to wish everyone a really happy Independence Day. Um, it's an important holiday and, you know, never forget the value of independence, of your freedom. Um, you know, terrific that we're going to have wonderful cookouts and beach days and hopefully good weather for everyone and a chance to get together with friends and family. I just ask, take a minute to think about the value of your freedom, of independence. It's important. And, you know, just take a moment for appreciation for that. It's a, a great holiday for all of us. Wishing everybody a happy 4th of July, happy Independence Day, and we will see you next week.